Okay, so I got this little um, kind of cabinet thing I'm gonna build to go under my vanity to house all of my hair products and brushes and stuff like that. Gossip Girl and I much prefer that to the reboot. I mean the reboot to me just isn't shot the same way. There was such cinematography to the original Gossip Girl. Like they really shot it in this like beautiful cinematic kind of way and I feel like with the new one it's just so rushed some of the scenes and you know at the time when Gossip Girl came out it was really salacious and racy um, had these sex scenes in it, but like they were shot in such a way that it was really nice. And I mean, it was network TV, it was on CW, it wasn't HBO style. And now I just feel like the sex is really gratuitous and I guess I'm just not like hip and cool, but it just doesn't feel like it really moves storyline along. I, I think it really hypersexualizes teenagers in a way that I think isn't really like I, I mean, who am I to say accurate? I don't know what teenagers are like nowadays, but when you compare the old one to the new one, I just think it loses something. I feel like where the show went wrong is they should have, if they were going to do a reboot, either keep the format of the characters the same and shoot it differently or keep the cinematography style the same and switch up like your storyline. But I just feel like they could have done a Serena Blair. I mean, I like the idea of Julian, the Serena-esque character being an influencer, but like, I don't know. And I love, and I love the idea, Julian, I really like that she has a shaved head because Serena's whole thing was like the hair, right? Like we were all like running to get extensions when Gossip Girl came out. Um, but in Julian with the shaved head, it's like, she's stunning, right? Like it's amazing. I just, I don't know. I, I wish I wish they did a better like having that kind of friendship with the Blair and Serena. Like there was this like deep sisterly love between the two of them. And I feel like even between the two sisters, I don't really see their relationship the way Serena and Blair, it really captured something I think that a lot of girls related to is having this best friend, but also you had all this turmoil with them as well. I also don't like in the new one that we know who Gossip Girl is. Like, I think that was a weird move. I don't know why they did it that way. I'm not interested in what's going on with the teachers. They're not interesting to me. I think the kids and like, even some of the parents stuff would be fine, but like Zoya's dad is so freaking unlikable in it. Like the episode I just watched, um, he's over at Zoya's best friend's house. Her family's having him over and he's meeting her parents and he's just so rude to them and they're literally trying and like I get like he was upset in the episode because the family he's visiting is really rich and like in order to make him feel more comfortable they kind of like downplayed everything like they made everything like they ordered him pizza and they were just having you know diet coke and stuff and like just you know just really chill like red solo cups uh just kind of very all americana and he got offended by it, but like just his behavior and like attitude, like the writing is just bad and it's not the actor's fault. I mean, the actor can only do so much with this script. I just think that I don't see someone who's an attorney and uh, is an adult behaving this way. I get him, you know, he might be not unhappy about his daughter spending more time in that world, but I just don't think he would conduct himself in that way. And I think that the writers are missing opportunities to make the storyline more interesting I don't know. And then like the whole, the other one that, the other thing that I think is so weird is like the whole dynamic with like Audrey, Aki, and Max, like, I don't know, like it's been the same storyline running. I don't see much movement with them. And I didn't like, I don't, at one point they're at some gala and one of the characters, Obi, is like, hey, like, let's all keep it together. This is my mom, you know, my girlfriend's mom's here and she's like, super hoity-toity we gotta like behave and so he's enlisting help from everyone to behave and then his two best friends are gonna go and do drugs and stir up this I don't know it just didn't it just didn't track like the way they the way the show is presented it doesn't make a lot of sense to me frankly and whenever they do these like flashes with like the people texting 
like, I don't know about you, but like my living room's pretty big and like where my TV is to where, you know, I'm sitting and like the font and maybe I'm old and need glasses or something, but no, I wear my contacts and I still can't read the, you know, what they're saying. And so you have to pause. And I even remember the pilot on the new Gossip Girl. I had to pause. If I didn't have it at home pausing, I would be so lost on who's who, what the relationships were. I just don't think they did a very good job. And it's really unfortunate because I think the show could be really great. Oh, it's gotta be up. But they're so over the top too in the new one. Like the Monet chick, she's really cool. But like her whole ploy about being queen and she's sitting there wanting to, oh, hold on me. So Monet, you know, she wants her whole play about being queen. It's just over the top, even more so than Blair Waldorf was. Like, I just don't see, I don't see the point. And it doesn't even track with what we know. And like, when we left Gossip Girl, they'd done away with like queens. And it was, remember like the mob bosses, uh, Serena's, the guy she dated, what was her name, the daughter? Like, was it Jade? I don't remember, but the daughter who was queen of Constance, but she then called it Dawn. So that's when we left. So they had this whole like mafia kind of set up to see old classmates come back. I would like to see, you know, focus on like the parents more. I think it's been really disjointed with the parents' storylines. As far as the fashion goes, I mean, there've been some good fashion moments, but it just doesn't have that cultural chokehold that the OG Gossip Girl did. And it's a shame because I want to like the show. And like right now, there's really not much on for me to watch till Emily in Paris comes out. So I'll watch it, but I don't know. I'm disappointed by it. I think it could have been better. I really wish they would have given us, I wish, honestly, you're doing a reboot, just redo the Blair and Serena story, but make it modern and give us, there's not even a guy on the show that like, I think captures the charisma of Chuck Bass, you know, like there was no, I don't know. They, they, and it's not for the, it's not the actors, all the actors are all great and very well cast, but I just think like the writing isn't giving them much opportunity to shine. B character, he reminds me so much of Dan Humphrey, like he's kind of annoying. Um, I wish there was like that kind of archetype of the all Americana like jock and we don't really have it. I was really hoping Audrey was going to be very Blair-esque, but she's kind of removed and I'm, I, you don't even see really her and Julian interact and they're supposed to be best friends and then like Monet, I don't know, it just, I don't know if they've got too many characters that they're trying to give storylines to and that's the problem instead of just really focusing like i think you need to flesh out your inner relationships and then you can branch off i think they gave us too many at once and it's just kind of like distracting i know just some of the stuff like when they're they're also calculated about like pr strategy and this and i guess that's today's world with social media and whatnot all right now i need to put these guys on so what does it say doesn't even look like that's gonna fit in that hole. And then there's brackets that go down the side. I don't even know if I have that. Anyway, so those are my thoughts on Gossip Girl. I just think that, like, and granted, the writing on the original, I mean, it got silly, right? But the first season I thought was really, really good. I just think the writing could be better. I really do. Sometimes I see stuff, I'm like, I could write this better. Like, I'm not some great mastermind writer, but I could make this way more interesting than what they're giving us. I did it, that took a long time, but you can see here, I built it. So I'm gonna get it all set up and organized. Okay, so here's the final setup. I've got hair brushes and stuff in here. And this drawer's got my Dyson and my Velcro rollers. And then all my hair products and straighteners here. And I've got my curling iron in there in that black bag. Um, but yeah, so I'm all set now. All right, happy Vlogmas. I cannot believe it is day 14. Um, so we're like more than halfway through now. Yeah, we are. More than halfway? Uh, yeah, because you only do it to the 25th. What? Yeah. Wait, you think I should vlog the whole month? That's what you said, the whole month. No, I said till Christmas. You should have vlog New Year. <laughs> well, right now I am watching this movie, Something from Tiffany's, which is on Amazon Prime. And first off, the problematic thing is it's pretty much just like an ad for Tiffany's because it's about their jewelry and the hijinks and hilarity that ensues in a 
ring mix up, but the writing is pretty awful. And um, so I'm just gonna do, I guess, a little reaction video to it. So. Okay, first of all, like, I don't get how these shows think it's believable that people that are basically getting engaged, like you're so in love with your partner, you're gonna propose to them, and all of a sudden you're just gonna flip script and like, because somebody else comes along, like that just isn't realistic. Um, when I was younger, I think it would have really liked the romance of this and been into this idea, but like being an adult now and knowing how relationships work, you know, it's different. Like as a kid, when I watched my best friend's wedding, that movie, like, I was totally team Julia Roberts. I was like, uh-uh, that's her man. She needs to go get rid of Cameron Diaz. But then I watch as an adult, and it's like, this doesn't make sense. Like, one, how'd you not know about your friend's wedding? This is a huge production of a wedding that they're having. It wasn't just, like, thrown together. And just now you're finding out the week before, like, how are you really best friends? You didn't think to talk about it when you proposed or whatever. I don't know. It, it, it just, that show does not make sense. And, like... It's too late. Like, they're, they're engaged. Like, you, you lost the opportunity to shoot your shot. So, anyway. But, yeah. So, watching this, it's, it's kind of dismal. Hi. Hey, what? I made a reservation. I saw this going way too early in my head. What are you doing? You know these people? Uh, yeah, that's Rachel and Gary, the guy that he helped. She got the ring and everything go back to play. No, Gary, no. Christmas time.